You see that right there? As the Hodge twins would say, look at them gangs. Look at what you can do when you dedicate yourself. All it takes is some motivation, some knowledge, and you can change not only your body, but your lifestyle. <laughs> hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Excuse how I look. Um, I just been relaxing today. Today is an off day, so I'm just around the house relaxing, but I wanted to make sure that I get this video up for you guys. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about my weight loss, so I was like, why not do a video? So that's what I wanted to do do for you guys um I am three months into my fitness plans I have lost 25 pounds so far since December it's now March so I'm still doing my weight loss journey I actually started a new program um so I wanted to share with you how I lost weight and give you some beginner tips that maybe can be beneficial for you so that you can change and um, begin your new weight loss journey. I also want to tell you why because sometimes a why can be a reason why you take drastic steps in your life especially when you're doing something like losing weight or changing your lifestyle which for me it's both um so the first one i want to get is to why i decided to lose weight i feel that there are four distinct reasons why a person wants to lose weight and the first one is that person wants to just merely change their physical appearance they want something different and that's one. Number two, some people go through a dramatic event in their life, whether it be illness, whether it be sickness, whether it be any other event that will cause you to lose weight. Number three would be, I have to look, is you always wanted to lose weight. You always was kind of a fit person, but you never knew where to start or how to begin or how to just stay motivated and the last one is you want to change your lifestyle um, once you start to lose weight you start to see that losing weight is just not a quick scheme it's more of a lifestyle change you have to change things in your life in order to change your body so out of them too i would definitely have to say that my reason why i started to lose weight was because one i craved a lifestyle change and two i've been going through dramatic events in my life that finally led up to me to finally sit down and make the change now to go into detail the reason um I would say one of the reason of my dramatic event was my loved ones are were starting to get sick and I am in a family full of obesity and heavy set people which is I wouldn't say which is fine but that's what we grew around that's what I grew up around and that's what I thought it was okay until now that we're getting older the people that are obese are getting sick and you know me being on that road to obesity I wanted to make a change not only for me but to touch those that are close to me um two I wanted to make a lifestyle change. Um, the way that I was living my lifestyle before was causing me to get sick. It was causing me to not only hurt myself, but to hurt people around me. It was causing me not to be focused. It wasn't the lifestyle that I feel that I wanted to have for my future kids, for my future self, just for my future. So losing weight definitely aided me into making a lifestyle change. So 
how I lost weight, which I tell everybody, and not everybody, but which I want to share with everybody, um, and which hopefully these hows can help you to start on your weight loss journey. Um, so this is what I want to share of what I've done that helped me lose 25 pounds in three months um, without drastically changing my diet plan. And one that I circle my fitness around is my phone. My phone is my day one. You my day one. You know you my day one. But <laughs> this phone or any smartphone, people... It's a smartphone. Let it be smart. Let it give you the knowledge that you need. Um, my smartphone helped me by giving me the knowledge I need to make the steps that I need to make. Not saying that um, it's dark. <laughs> it's starting to rain. Not saying that you can't get knowledge anywhere else, which you can, but the first step and the first tip that I will give to beginners is that you have to educate yourself. You have to research. You have to know what's going to work for your body and why it's going to work for your body. That is what's going to keep you dedicated and that's what's going to keep you motivated and that's how you're going to see the changes. Um... For me, my phone helped me gain knowledge in multiple ways, not only by my diet, but how I should exercise, how long I should exercise, how to um, hydrate my body, and also many other factors. Out of them, um, one of the recommendations I would love to give you guys is, especially if you're not into diet plans which I'm not because I love to eat I like to indulge um I really I'm really not into sticking to having to eat the same thing over and over again or eating similar things over and over again um especially with my spouse being a cook we like to eat we like to try new things so I wanted something that was going to be able to fit easily into my lifestyle to where I can make changes over time versus making a drastic change. Now, that's why I say there's a difference to me. Well, I'm saying this now, but there's a difference to me between um, you just wanting to lose weight to you wanting to make a lifestyle change. Because wanting to lose weight, I feel that you can do kind of a harsh diet plan, lose the weight, and then you will go back to doing what you did before or whatever. But that usually gains to you either gaining it back again and you have to redo it every year or something like that. But making a lifestyle change is you sticking to that you sticking to that diet almost for the rest of your life. And that's why I wanted to make sure that when I do diet, I want something that I'm able to do every day, 365 days out the year without me losing my mind. So with that recommendation, I recommend Fitness Pal. Fitness Pal, you be my homie. You be my homie. Fitness Pal has helped me tremendously. That is what got me on the road to losing weight because even without exercise, just me counting calories alone, I was losing one to two pounds a week. To me, exercise just aided into shaping my body and to allowing me to indulge a little bit more sometimes but fitness pal i have to give it it's out of one out of ten i have to give it a ten if you are dedicated to it it will help you especially if you do not like diet plans um i will have to say i eat whatever I want to and i know that's not always good but i do i'm able to eat Excuse me. 
I'm able to eat whatever I want to and still lose the weight. But with that being said, I do also count my macronutrients, if I said it right, which are your protein, your carbs, and your fats. And that helps me into learning how to eat to build muscle. Now, one thing I will say with Fitness Pal is that even though you can eat what you want to using this app, um, it still teaches you how to eat and how to pick your food because once you start using it and you start getting familiar, you start noticing like, you know, a burger, fries, and a milkshake is 1,200 calories. My calorie, personally, my calorie deficient is under, is around 1,500. That burger, that shake, and that fries is around 1,200 calories. If I want to stay under that calorie deficient, that will probably be the only thing I eat that day with the banana or a salad or something and you overly would I mean you really wouldn't want to do that so it helps you in aiding to make healthier food choices in your life which over time you start to eat healthy versus you just crash dieting into a diet and it doesn't stay because you ultimately ain't gonna want to eat that way every day so I definitely that will be my number one recommendation because as you know your diet is what dictates your weight. You can exercise all you want to, but if you are not under your calorie deficient, you're not going to lose the weight. So I definitely recommend Fitness Pal. Another um, how I lost my weight is I made a fitness plan, and I definitely recommend you making a fitness plan. You need to make a fitness plan, a gym plan, a workout plan. You need to have a plan, period. Have a plan. When you have a plan that aids you into staying focused, it aids you into being dedicated, it aids you into staying motivated. And that's the main thing of losing weight is the motivation. You have to push yourself. But when you have a plan, you have something that you can stay focused on versus you trying to figure out what you need to do. Now, one site I do recommend, which I will place below, <laughs> is simplyshredded.com. Um, they have on the female resources tab, they have a 12 week program that are strictly for females. And I, this is actually my second time using this. And I would say it's bomb. It's bomb. You want to get them gains? it's bomb so I definitely recommend that site if that's not something that you're looking for if that's not the type of body that you want to gain then definitely just do your research um one thing to aid you into getting um your workout plan or your gym plan is once again your phone people your phone um I have a app on here called Skimble which is a workout trainer and it adds you can make your own workouts you can find workouts from home to the gym to outside whatever your case may be but there's no excuse you can make a workout plan that specifically works for you and um do what you need to do aiding with that is how I lost my weight is I kept track of my progress. One thing I try not to do was watch the scale because watching the scale will demo like it will unmotivate you because you will want to see the weight and sometimes when you are in a process of building muscle your weight will not change but you can make body changes with me for me to keep up was to track my strength gains i liked to see how much strength i was gaining over time and how much weights i can push and ultimately that kept me motivated and that kept me dedicated to what i needed to do and it's keeping me motivated and keeping me um dedicated to my weight loss goal and not only my weight loss goal my lifestyle change and my body transformation and um third is water um 
I am not a fan of water. I hate water personally. And if I can drink anything else, I would drink it. But water aids me. Um, it aids everyone. I know a lot of people, they don't they don't believe in this, but this is this is what's gonna push you through. Just getting rid of all the juices, all the alcoholic drinks, all the soda will get you your gains and um one app another app I'm telling y'all i'm telling you see i have water your body which tells you how much you need to drink for your body size it reminds you to drink your water and it does all that if you drink water every day then you definitely don't need that app but i recommend that for losing weight you have to cut everything out i don't care unless it's i drink the only thing that i drink during a week is a protein shake but other than that i try to stick very close to just water i try to drink nothing but water which if people know me i never <laughs> never used to drink water but now I see the importance. I see the difference. My skin is lighter and clearer. I feel a lot healthier and I'm not dehydrated. My skin is moisturized. I get all the benefits. So definitely drink your water. And my last tip, which I will personally give to my ladies because I see this all the time, not only with strangers, but with people that are close to me that really wants to lose weight, is that ladies, we have to lift weights. Like we, you have to lift. I can't stress the importance. I can't tell you how much it has changed my life. I'm telling you, you have to lift weights. And I mean lift, not no 10 pounds. And which... I think strength training is great. I don't knock it. I personally, it doesn't work for me. But I think strength training is great. But I highly recommend weightlifting. If you want to get that toned body, if you want that big round butt that's toned, we just don't want the butt that's just flabbing all over the place. But if you want that toned butt, you want that small stomach, you want that small arm, which is what I want my body transformation to be, then we have to lift weights. Stop going to the gym and you know that you can lift 80 pounds every day, but you up there lifting up five pounds. Now, don't get me wrong. When you start out, of course, I recommend starting low. But once you start getting a plan, you need to not be scared to lift weight. You will not look like a bodybuilder unless you're on drugs. If you're on drugs, yeah. So other than that, those are a couple of tips that I feel that will aid you in your weight loss. But the main tip is to gain your knowledge, whether it's with your phone, whether it's on a computer, whether it's in book, you have to educate yourself about your body. Um, not everything works for everybody, which is why we have many different plans and stuff that's uh, not only plans but diets and all this stuff and different people telling you this because not everything works for everybody so you definitely have to try and see what works for you do not get do not get unmotivated when it doesn't work the first time I know for me I thought running would help but running doesn't just aid for me. I had to weight lift and that was my calling and that's what changed my body to where I want it to be. And also that's what helps me want to stay doing it for the rest of my life. So other than that, definitely fitness pal, drink your water, make a plan and of all do your research and lift. And other than that, I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it and taking the time to listen to what I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy your day and bye.